three. I don't even think I'm gonna get a bunch of people today. I really don't. Fifteen seconds. Twenty seconds. I don't think I'm gonna get a whole bunch of people today. I don't. Oh my goodness, I'm getting people. Wow. How y'all doing today? Good morning. I got two. I'll take two. So how y'all doing this morning? Wow, three. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm just I'm just here for the beer, my friends. I'm just here for the beer. Well, coffee this morning. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. Have I even been eating Latin food? Yes. It's 3 p.m. on Monday for me. Yeah. How many people um didn't have to go to school today? Because I know there's some kids in here that... Uh, that they shouldn't have to go to school today. You okay? Okay. Yeah. I don't have school. Yeah, Fritz. I. I'm so happy that I don't because I. I. Uh, I don't think I could do it again. But I get a lot of questions. Kids asking me about school, and I've been to school since. 1979, just a little while. So what I want to ask you this morning is what's on your mind? What do you guys think about the fight with Conor McGregor and uh, that other guy? Yeah. I like reacting. Taquan man is really, I, his personality is what I what I really really like about about the whole thing. I really really enjoy his um, his personality, and um, and 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 that's what I like. So I I, uh, I there's a. There's a young man, uh, C C Day or something like that. Um, that they um, they want me, they want us to do, but I've never seen him, and I've never seen him. So, yeah, but the whole thing is okay. This McGregor, I love McGregor. Whatever, um, the blah, blah, the fight was crazy. McGregor got his cheeks clapped. McGregor lost bad. Drake tunnel vision when he jumped out of the octagon. Yeah, um, my my thing on the fight was I didn't watch the fight, and I I told people that I I didn't want I wasn't gonna watch the fight. And I just, I just think that I think McGregor, he's a good fighter, but I think, I think he is, 
and I'm 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 not gonna I'm just not gonna he he says some of the worst things to people in order to try to get into their head. And I and I and and when he does that, he uh I think he goes overboard. That's what I personally think. I think I think um I think it's really, you know, he just goes overboard. He he totally disrespects people, um, and I and I, you know, I you if you lost total respect for Khabib after that, you should have lost total respect for McGregor when he did the bull junk he did with the with the with the with the bus. You know, I, I don't. I, you know, I, I hate to tell you, but I think, I think, um, I, I think McGregor needs to get back on his game. If he, if, if he wants to be, he's not, you know, you, you can't, you can't disrespect people and expect that man from what I, I didn't even watch the fight. It wasn't something I wanted to watch because after they had the thing with the bus and he did the stupid shit with the bus, I was done with that. You know, I was I was done with the whole fight thing altogether. And to me, if I was the commissioner, he wouldn't have been allowed to fight. But that's the he's the cash cow. I don't think he's going to be the cash cow after this. You know, there's too much. He, he brings too much drama. Just just constant drama, even though he this time didn't cause the drama. Well, he did. He got beat. And then he jumped over the ring, and then somebody came in the ring and tight tightened his ass up again. Yeah, he threw a trolley or whatever. It was ridiculous. You know, there's hype in a fight, and then they're stupid. And he went stupid. And and yesterday, whatever this kid's name is, um Khabib, he he just lost. I think what happened with him was once he won and the people of, from McConnell or, or McGregor's team were still talking junk, he had it just he just lost it. And that is a perfect example of how you can lose it so quickly. And and that and and that can happen to anybody. Um, I think martial arts needs to be more disciplined, no, not trash talking or even talking, even trying to knock out a coach. I, you know, um, Connor is very disrespectful and a drama queen. I just, I just think, I just think that, um, I, I just think that it's just, I, I think, you know, I, I don't know what he said about his father, his religion, his nation, whatever. I don't know. But all of that was supposed to get up underneath his skin and cause him to be off his game. And it put him on his game wholeheartedly. Hey, when, when do you get monetized? Because... I have 386 subs and I have 11K views, but I don't have 1K subs. Okay. Steel Zeke, you must have 1,000 subs and 4,000 hours of watch time. Or you need 1,000 subs. And two hundred and four thousand minutes of watch time. In the last twelve months, in order to be eligible to become a partner on YouTube. 240,000 minutes. So, Steels, when you go into your analytics, it'll tell you how many minutes you have for the last 12 months. 
And then if if you don't reach a thousand subs, you're not it's not gonna happen. So you might as well just work on your subs and getting your minutes up and uh see what you can do. But the views, eleven thousand views is not enough, I can tell you that. Unless yeah, it's not enough. So go into your analytics. You're going to need, uh, uh, let's just make that 90. You're going to need 610 more subs. And I'm going to, I'm going to go out on a limb. And I'm going to say you probably have 50,000 minutes, maybe 50,000 minutes. You're probably going to need 190,000 more minutes of views. You probably have, but one video, one video can go viral and you could, and you could have minutes for days. Um, go check uh, Creator Studio or Creators Academy. And, and everything that you need to know about YouTube is there, and it'll help you become a better YouTuber. I wish it could be more respectful, but it will never be that. Trash talk and drama seems to get more views than money. Yeah, I, therefore, yeah, more, more money. Yeah, it, it's, it's crazy, but it's the way it is. Hey, Dad, have you ever heard of a band 21 Pilots? I might have. I, I'd have to look them up, though, and... and Listen to one of their songs and tell you if I've heard them. I think we had a, an amazing performance against Connor, but why did he do that after? There was no need. He won the fight. There was really no need. I don't, Nico, I don't think he intended to do that. I, I really, I think he lost it. When he, when he took the thing out of his mouth and threw it, I think he just went from zero to a thousand. And once you get on that road, you're there and you can't come back because you're not thinking rational. And he wasn't thinking rational. I don't think, I don't think that's the, the I think that was, that was, uh, he was, you hear about people losing it. I think that's what happened to him. Um, okay. Sucks being sick. I'm sorry to hear that, Adrian, that you're sick. I hope you get better. Um, doesn't Khabib have 27 wins now? I, I, he is undefeated, if I'm correct. I don't, I don't know anything about the guy. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I don't, I, MMA, I don't watch MMA that much. And, and yes, and that was amazing to watch. I didn't watch it. I watched it after, you know, on YouTube. But Connor apologized mid-fights and said he said it's all business. But yes, he's wrong. Yeah. Yeah, man. I had one viral video that blew up on my channel. Just keep working, man. I kept missing my landing on the videos for like six months, but then, and yep. Everyone needs to understand who Connor is. This is his character his personality. He destroys people's confidence with trash talk. He's good at what he does, and that's why people love him. Yeah, Nico, I uh, I agree, but but I hate to tell you, uh, he got his ass whooped yesterday, or whenever the hell that was, he got whooped. And, he'll, and you know the one thing about a man, when you get your ass whooped as a man, you, you'll admit it. A real man will say, yeah, you, you whooped me, you know. I got basketball tryouts tomorrow. Yeah, Thomas, hey, man, I wish you luck. So, um, yeah, it's crazy. What's suck in the future if he keeps being champ, then he loses. 
he he lost his belt. You know, it, for 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 McConnell, McGregor right now, he needs to get that thing. Whatever he has to pay for that suit, he needs to get that done. And he needs. I, I'm. You. He made. He's making so much money. There, there's too much money he's making. It's just ridiculous how much money he's making. You know, they're talking about he's going to make thirty million dollars on the on the ah, man. Come on, man. It's crazy how much money he's making. But he learned a valuable lesson by coming to boxing that people in the UFC, them guys in the UFC, ain't, I mean, in the MMA, they ain't making no money. The owners are making all the money. In boxing, you make money. Especially, he learned a lot from from uh, from uh, Mayweather on how to make money, you know. And and to me, he has a. That was what I was reading. He was going to make something like thirty to fifty million dollars. He made three million prize, and uh, Kabil made two million. That was five main. And then he had a, a thing on the gate where he got, he gets so much percentage of the gate. And uh, yeah, he, he's going to do well, but, but he needs to stop, man, with the, with the disrespecting people. I really think so. Do you still watch kid behind the camera? I still do, but his voice is not getting to videos are just getting plain. And he's clickbaiting a lot now, which sucks. I I watch him every now and then, man. I I just whenever I go to his channel, I think about his dad, man, and I hurt, and I don't like hurting. You know, I miss his dad, man. His dad, like, for some people, this is this is I'm gonna be honest, and it so, and people say that they only watch Buckethead Nation because of me, and I don't think that that. I, it it hurts me because my son started this whole thing, and it's you know he he's the reason that I'm doing this, and uh, I feel you know I just feel what's good, Dad? How you doing? Just join the stream, by the way. Thanks. He is one of the highest paid athletes, but. You know, I, I just, he has to, he has to, I, I, I either, either he has to stop with the, the promoting. The promoting is just ridiculous the way he treats people. It's bad. I'm going to start wrestling. I'm in the ninth grade. Okay. All right, man. Wish you the best of luck. Pen him. I watched you because of the connection and bond between you and Nick. Thank you. But a lot of people like said, you know, they they dog my son, man. I, and and I'm not gonna lie to you, man. They they've said some things that are hurtful to my son, man, and hurt me. But I don't I don't he me and him have an agreement that I won't get crazy about it. And uh, you know, he, he says he can handle it. But he when he was they treated him so bad when he was when he was when he was heavy that it's that it's you know I love him with all my heart I love both of my sons with all my heart man and I hate how they treated him when he was when he was big man you know you like I don't really like people talk there's people call me fat and all that man I don't give a damn what you say I really don't if you don't talk about me I don't care that's the truth. I don't really give a damn. Every now and then somebody hits me and it hurts. But for the most part, man, I don't give a damn what you say about me. And I'm honest about that. And I'll tell you, I'll tell anybody to their face, I don't really give a damn what you say about me. I don't. But I, I hate when you pick on my kid or you talk stuff to my kid. I can't stand it. And my kid is 20 or 20 years old. And if he was 50, I would still feel the same way. Feel if he was a hundred, I would still feel the same way. It's hard to watch videos about without getting game part. And I do try to watch the bit on him, but it's hard. Yeah, and and 
he has to find like he him he's nice. He really is. I like him. I like him a whole lot. I it's just sometimes the family dynamic, you know, is it 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 plays into that. And I understand that he did everything for his dad. The whole channel was around him and his dad, the reaction of him and his dad. And now he's lost. Well, he's not lost. He's trying to find his way. And I, you guys, you guys, let me see. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. You guys, you, you, you guys make this whole thing happen. It's not, it's, it's you. You guys make this happen. And sometimes we lose our way. And sometimes we lose our way and we need you to guide us where you want us to go. And sometimes you guide us in places we don't want to go. You know, like you can guide us and say, well, you're going to keep doing this. And so, and in order to grow, sometimes you got to leave what got you started and move on. And you guys, don't, some of you guys, man, are like, nah, you're not going to do that. I'm not. If you don't, if you don't do what I want you to do, I'm going to unsubscribe. And that hurts. But that's what you have to do. Uh, are you streaming with Nick today? I think I don't know. He's going to when he gets here, we'll figure it out. But I think I don't know. Hold on a minute. Are we streaming today? We got videos to do today. I don't know if we're streaming today, though. We have videos to do today. Um, is it good that you don't give a damn about what people say about you because it gets to some point and hopefully it's all good vibes from here? It, it, the reason that I don't care about what people say about me is because of what my mom told me when I was a kid. My mom told me that people talked about Jesus. They're going to talk about you. So if they're not paying for your for your food, putting clothes on your back, a roof over your head, electric and on you know lights on you in your house, or paying something for you, they really don't matter. If they're going to be if they're going to talk bad about you, don't worry about it. Let them talk because they talked about Jesus. I remember that. I never forgot that. Never forgot that. But I have been hurt by what people have said to me. And then I have to go back and remember what she said. But I really, you know, and, and I found that most people that that's like today, it's really it's really fashionable. For you to say something for shock value. You understand what I'm saying? I'll say something crazy and everybody go, ooh. And in your heart of hearts, you didn't really mean to say that. You were just trying to trying to make people say, oh, look what he said, blah, 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 and get you so a rise out of people. I wish I had a relationship with my dad like you and Nick. You know what, man? It's unique. It really is unique. It's good you don't have that you don't give a damn what people say because it's, it's some people. Um, I'm such a fan of Conor McGregor, and I admit it. He had a small chance of winning from the beginning because how great Khabib is with Brown. Khabib misunderstood the trash talk, you think? No. When you listen to me, let me explain this so that, so that you understand. I don't know how old you are, but let me tell you something. A grown man, grown man, when you talk about his, him, his family, his religion, and his country, to him, there is no misunderstanding. You have, to him, you have no respect for him as a man. Therefore, there's no misunderstanding. That's what, that's what I think triggered all of that anger and, and, and just total loss. Because he thought he had no respect for him as a man. And McGregor has to change change that. I'm such a fan of, okay. 
Um, how far do you live from Lubbock, Texas? I'm in, I'm from Oregon, and my mom was just in Lubbock. I don't know how far I'm from Lubbock. I don't even know where Lubbock is. I'm honest. I live, I live, I live near Corpus, Christi, Texas, and uh, I have to look up Lubbock. Um, there's nothing to do with it. Can there's nothing we can do? Trash makes the UFC so exciting. Unfortunately, that's how it is, but that's just how it works. Yeah, trash talk. Okay, yeah, trash talking is fine, but to be honest, kind of did go a little bit too far. I. Um, I I think it went way too far when he threw, you know, he, he that, that thing with that with that whole throwing the thing is kind of cost him millions of dollars. It cost him going to jail. It cost all kinds of stuff, man. There's no reason for that to go to jail for anything to me. <laughs> My mama was wise. No, my mama had lived a while. The more you live, the more stuff you learn, the more you try to pass it on. I wish I wish it could be as wise as you, though. Jay, you're going to be as wise as me. You're going to be wiser than me because you're living in a different time with different things. There's things out there that are going on outside of my, my world. And everybody has a world. This is my world. I don't know what goes on out here. And for the most part, I'm not trying to learn what goes on out here. I stay in my little world, in my little box, and I live my life. And that's what happens to most people. There's a, you have a certain amount of friends. You live in a certain area. You deal with certain issues. That's your world. But every now and then, you need to get outside of your world and see what happens on the outside. Or go travel somewhere or see something, or do something that you really want to do while you're thinking about it in your world. You understand what I'm saying? Sometimes get outside your comfort zone, man. It's, it's, really, it's really good. Try a, like, the, the one thing that I learned when I, was, when I would travel, and it, it's the way I am today about a lot. I tried, I used to go and try different foods things that I knew I, I would never eat if I was where I'm from. And I found out that I liked a lot of them. And then I would go and try, I would go to places and, and watch people and watch them live. And I would go to I, any place that wasn't where I was from, I wanted to go because I want to see people where they're from. People are amazing, man. They, people are amazing and beautiful. The majority of people on earth are beautiful people. There is some anal retentive one percenters out there that are complete and total. Oh, oh. of course, McGregor is going to talk trash. He just lost. It would have been better for Khabib to ignore him as McGregor is beneath him. I, a. That, wow, that's pretty good. That, that's pretty good. Not bad. Good job, man. I'm sure believe him. Now he's got to go fight and get his belt back. And it's, it's just, how old is McGregor? That's the other thing I didn't know. McConnell or, Mc, or, or yeah, whatever. Um, good morning, afternoon, not sure what, where the, it's still morning, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. People need to understand that trash talk is part of this, of the sport and it's the build up to the event. It's what attracts so many people. And, and, and he's 31. Yeah. He, his window is getting ready to close though. I'm telling you, man, in the fight game. In the fight game, there's a lot of boxers and, and fighters and wrestlers who will all tell you the one thing that is so true. Father Time is undefeated. Father Time has whooped a lot of fighters. Father Time is bad boy. 
And when you start getting in your 30s, 30s, your body don't heal as fast. You don't take licks as good. So just wanted you to know that. The mom sounds like she was an amazing person. That's why I love mine. Been there since day one. Never going to forget when she's done with me. Hey, man, moms are amazing. They really are. They do more for, they do more for us than we'll ever admit to. They, they, um, they take care of us. They love us. Thank you, Randy. No, you went to Subway. Oh, I didn't want this. I know what this is. He made enough money. He will never. Ha he will have a rematch, and then retire and lost his heart. You don't want. I will get. No, no, out. it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I just thought it would, it would be a little healthier. What's this? Okay. Um. What? You don't like it for real? No, no. I, I just, I just, I just said my mouth, but with the, so, uh, I'll eat in a minute. But it's like uh, sometimes gotta eat what you gotta eat. <laughs> it would be good. Uh, I'll just say it was actually a pretty nice fight. I think he's defeated. His defeat, uh, this defeat, made him hungry. Actually, I don't know. I, I just, I just know that. I, I just wish he would, he would, would, would be more, would show himself in a better light. And that, and that's that's asking. I may be asking too much. You know, I'm good. Um, Thirty minutes. Um, I'm actually hungry now. Yeah, I have I haven't eaten breakfast. This is my breakfast. So. So. I just, I just, we all, we all want, we all want him, we all, like, I, I want him to do better. Like, like right now, okay, listen, they say Mayweather, oh God, is coming out to fight again. And I'm asking the question, why? Why? Because you can't, because you miss the spotlight? Because you miss, you know, everybody talking about you? Dude. You've got enough money to go out and do great things. Go do something else. Quit getting punched. Well, you don't get punched in the face that often. But Father Time is about to do some things to you, bro. You're about to get your ass whooped, Mr. Undefeated. Greatest person in the greatest in all time. You're about to get punched in the face. Um, do I like Can uh, Canelo? I, I don't like I Canelo's pretty good. Move him away from the fight topic. How can I sleep better? The most sleep I get is four hours and I can't sleep past that eight tips. Um I honestly got truth, I I sleep I sleep in batches. I used to I used to be able to sleep straight through like eight hours, seven hours. But I sleep four hours, five hours, get up, do what I got to do. So some, like, but what happens is you have to sleep when your body's tired. And if, you're, if, your, body, if your body is used to, if, if four hours of sleep is enough for your body, five, four or five hours is enough for your body to be recharged, then you're good. And then, and then do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? For some people, that's how it works. Mike Tyson was trying to come back. A million years, got his ass whooped in Tokyo. This man was.
Yeah, that you you can't you you can't get it. I'm telling you, Father Time is badass, man. Father Time will whoop you, get you put in positions. And the, and the thing is, is that why would you? I I used to ask the question, no joke. Uh, Oscar, what the hell is his name? Oscar. Uh, he when he was fighting. And and they told me they said Oscar has has uh, 180 million dollars or 180 million dollars in the bank. Yeah, De La Hoya. Oscar has 180 million dollars in the bank. And I asked myself, what the hell makes you want to get punched in the face and you got 100 million 100 million dollars in the bank? That don't make no sense to me. But you can sleep for 15 hours. I swear. Hey man, I can put it down too. I'm not joking. I can put it down. If there's sometimes when I go lay down, I sleep, I wake up, I go to the bathroom, I go right back and lay down, sleep another five hours. I can sleep, I can sleep 10, 12 hours a day. I don't have a problem with it. I don't have a problem with it. I some there's sometimes, man, I can I can put it down. But most of the time I sleep four hours. Four or five hours I'm up. Um Let's see. Bah, 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 bah. I can sleep for 15 hours. Wow. That's good. Fall asleep at nearly 4 a.m. last night. Woke up at 8 a.m. this morning. I'd like to sleep more. I enjoy sleep, but I just can't sleep anymore. That, that's it. You know what I'm saying? How old are you? How old are you? That's That's another thing. He wants more money. Money is addictive as heroin. It is. It is for some people. But the the thing is, is that the thing is that you have to learn is you can't you can have a hundred cars, but you can't drive it one at a time. You can have twenty houses, but you can't live in one at one at a time. You can have all of this stuff. Stuff don't make you happy. Stuff. Don't make you happy. It never has and never will. Stuff don't make you happy. I'm 19 and nearly 20 since I started college and I can't sleep as much. Well, you, you're, 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 you're burning, you're, 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 you're working, man. You're working. Don't worry. Don't, it, hey, don't worry. Keep, keep sleeping. As long as your body is getting enough rest, It'll let you do what you're doing. When you're not getting enough rest, it'll make you sleep more. So four hours right now is enough for your body to continue doing what it's doing. And that's fine. You're young. Enjoy that. You know, while, let me tell you one more thing. I'm going to tell you something else. Your time that while you're, while you're, get your four hours, you get up. That time, that other four hours. Do something productive with that other four hours to make it worth your time that you're not sleeping. Time is money, man. Your, your time is valuable, more valuable than money sometimes. That's for real. Um, okay, guys, if you didn't give me a thumbs up, hook, hook, hook me up with a thumbs up. Um, the problem with money is you become accustomed to it and then life gets expensive. The money runs out and you can't maintain it. Exactly. That's why you should live within your means. That's that's so simple. But a lot of people want it. Money with money, you can impress people that you don't even know. People buy stuff to impress other people that really don't mean nothing to them. But they want people to think that they have a certain stature. That, that's why they buy this stuff. I'm just telling you. I'm going to give me another cup of coffee. Have you ever tried to become a motivational speaker? You are one of the why. I'm, dude, I, I'm not a motivational speaker. I'm a dude that just speaks. I don't, I don't, 
the problem with money. Okay. Um, I'm, what I, the stuff that I'm telling you is stuff that I've learned through life. The more you live, the more stuff you learn, the more you know. So keep living. That's what you got to do, man. You got to keep living and learning. Don't become stagnant. Keep moving forward. Keep doing your thing. You'll be fine. That is that is no joke. You got to live, man. You got to live. That is the one thing I can tell you. The more you live, the better you learn. You got to live. I'm having a great morning. Yeah. What are y'all going to do for two main stuff? I, I, I have no idea what I want to do, but I can damn sure tell you I can't wait for this to happen. I want this. I want this so bad. I want it so bad. I really want two million subs. And then um, I, let's see, I'm 19. Let's see. Got through my. Um, Thanks for the tips. I appreciate you, you and Diane as much. Love. Thank you, Nico. Booty really is one of the best motivators for you. <laughs> Can't put a uh, price on the experiences. Have a nice day. Take it easy. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by, man. What do you think about what? What are your guys' opinion on Logic shouting you out? I really appreciate Logic shouting us out. That was really something special. Um, I somebody asked me the other day, do you pre do you pre watch your videos? And I said no. What the I try not to watch a video when you see me do a reaction. That's my reaction of the video right then and there. I try not to pre screen my videos. So whatever reaction that you get is what it is for me. Sometimes, you know, uh, that that's that's the best thing that I can do for you. I can give you genuine reactions to whatever it is I'm watching. And I think that's that's the only fair thing that the two of us between me and you that we can do. You know, I don't want to I don't want to pre-screen or whatever. Because I, I know I've heard that some people, I'm not have done that in the past where they pre-screened a video and um, or pre-screened what you're watching. Man, she's definitely not. <sighs> Sometimes people make you do things you don't want to. Maybe you take a bit too much acid. Crazy, I just seen logic shine. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to make some breakfast right now. I'll be back soon. Hopefully, you'll still be live. I love you. Yeah, hey, man, go ahead and make you some breakfast. I, <laughs> my wife bought me mine, so I'm good. I'm sitting here chopping on it right now. I got to head up. Hope you have a great day. Best wishes to you and the rest of the family. Also, here's a thumbs up. Thank you, man. I haven't ate breakfast yet. You're lucky. <laughs> mm.
Have you heard of 100, millions, 100 miles and running? Yeah, I've heard of that. I have. Who do you deserve to be one of the biggest YouTubers? Real talk. I well, I'm. What I want to be, and I'm honest, I'm 57 now. By the time I'm 62, I'd like to have anywhere between four, four and five million subs by the time I'm 62, and then I want to, I want to, I want to be able to just do this once, once a week, and I'm hoping to have a big enough portfolio, or maybe over 2,000 videos for you guys to watch, and so when I'm 62, I can just relax. And, and just take my trips and record my trips and meet people and do those things and and continue until my um, my days of uh, breathing are over. But along the way, while I'm doing this, there's going to be some, what's up, darker flex? I think that's what you said. There's going to be some YouTubers along the way that I'm going to watch that I think are worth your time. And I'm going to shout them out and put them out there for you to watch. And uh, right now, I have a couple of them, but the one that I'm doing right now is Cinetics. I think he, I, I've been watching the kid. I, I, oh my God, I've been watching this kid for a while. And I really like zombies. And that's, I've, I've always liked zombies. So he plays zombies. And my thing is to to help him grow because I think I think he's gonna be pretty good. So one question, have you heard? Oh man, it, just hold on one second. Have you heard anything interesting stories? Um, have you heard of the Ghetto Boys? Yeah, I've heard of the Ghetto Boys. Um, um, interesting stories like in the military? There was tons of interesting stories while I was in the military, but, you know. Mm, you should get, have more than nothing beats your ability to connect with people. I see in the comments people say, that you're sort of a father figure with him. I, I really appreciate that, you know, that people think that I'm Chavez, um, that I'm sort of a father figure for them. I, all, all I can do is try to help. If I can help you, I will. That That's the best thing I can do. I think we should all try to do that. I think that we should try to help people that need help. I think that's what we should do. Do you think uh, someone that is not black or black ethnicity should have any less option on rap music? 
your color, the content of your mind, your heart and your spirit have never, ever, ever stopped you from liking a certain music or, or, or doing whatever you want with music. The fact that you're black has nothing to do with rap music no more. People feel what they feel. And there's some pretty good rappers out there of all races, creed, ethnicities, and it doesn't matter. It's when you, the music, music connects you to other people. It's what music does. And how you get there to connect with these people, you can do it through country, rock, uh, grunge, whatever it is that you need to connect to these people. That's what music does. Music connects you to people, connects you through, through a song. <clears throat> and that's what music does. So it has nothing to do with none of that. None of that matters. So do you think that someone that is, okay, I already did that. If only everyone had your mentality, the world would be a better place. Have I seen UFOs? No. No, I've never seen no UFOs. Um, um, I, I think... This is this is my opinion. This is what I think. I'm just going to tell you how I think. I think that people downright in their heart of hearts, we're all the same. We're all nice, kind, want to be great people. There's some people out there, like I always say, that are not. But what happens is everything else, the outside world, influences who you who they want you to be. You have the news that tells you, well, we want you to think this way. Then you have another channel that tells you we want you to do this way. Your religion that tells you, well, you should do this. You have another religion that tells you you should do that. You have um, each and every one of us has our own biases. We all have them. We all have them. Everybody has them. Don't don't say you don't, because you do. But if you give an opportunity to someone to treat you with the same respect that you want to give them, if you give them, treat them the same with the same respect you want them to give you, that you give them to you, then you'll be fine. That is the honest to God truth. And that's what people have to learn how to do. They have to learn how to treat each other with the same respect. You know, I, I, I tell people that because I know it's true. It's the truth. That's all you have to do. You have to take all of those other factors. And, and when I say this, for some people, it doesn't make sense, but I'm telling you what you got to do. You got to take your religion out of it. You got to take out what the, what the, the news is telling you what other people are telling you, and you have to treat the person or the people with the same respect that you want, and you'll see positive things happen. When you sit down, like when, when people sit down across a table over a meal and they talk, it changes a whole dynamic. You have to talk. That's what you have to do. You have to sit down and talk. And sometimes the talk is painful, but that's what you have to do. That's it. I just tune in to hear your last words almost every video. I learned something different from you. Keep up the great work, Buddha, all the way from Mint Flint. Damn, man. Sorry to hear about your guys' water, man. Damn, dog. They ain't fixed. I bet they ain't fixed their water yet. That's what's bad, man. We. We pay all these taxes and these people are in these positions and we we put we put faith 
in these people that they're going to do what the right thing. And they keep failing us miserably. And it's just wrong. Because I, I, oh my God. And that's what I think that's what I I don't what I think is there should be term limits on how long you can stay in office. That's what I think. I think there should be term limits. If the president can't stay but eight years, you can't stay more than 10. That's it. 10 years, get your behind up out of here, go do something else. That's what I think. <laughs> nope, they haven't, but we have different churches, no relation to them or what it is. Yeah. They got to find out what the problem is with the water and fix it. But in order to fix it, it costs money. And the problem, how they got to the problem that they're in now is money. Because somebody didn't want to spend the money to fix the problem. We have, we have the richest people on earth right here in this country. A man, one man, one man made a billion dollars in one day in stocks. He could have took that money, went to Flint, took a couple hundred million dollars and fixed the problem. It's not his responsibility. Three days later, he would probably made all the money back. You see what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm not. I, I'm not mad at rich people. I'm not mad at them at all. They did what they had to do to get where they're at, to acquire the wealth that they had. But at some point, they need to take their ass down. Do a what is it? Where they fake who they are. Um, and walk amongst poor people, regular people, and see issues that they could fix like that. You know, it might cost them $20 million, $30 million, but there's some issues that they could fix without any problem. But some people say, I love cookies too. Some people say that that it's not there, and I agree. I agree. Uh, off brand undercover boss. Yeah, they, that's what they need to do. They need to just. I'm serious, man. They need to just put their face on and go hang out uh, with some poor people and see what their issues are. You know, because you, you got a hundred, you got a, a billion dollars. You make a billion dollars in a day. Don't don't tell me you can't fix some issues. What's up from Germany? What's happening, man? As a public poet. As a public, published poet, I've always seen poverty as a very unappreciated poetry. I'm sorry, as a very unappreciated medium in this day and age. Have you ever had? Have you ever had any good? It, it went away. 
I'm sorry. Oh, my coffee cup is empty. Oh, wait a minute. My phone, my phone. Okay. Um, come on, come on back. I can't see. So it, the chat went out. It does that. So as soon as it comes back, I wouldn't talk again. So I, what I want to know from you guys is if if you could travel somewhere in the world, where would that somewhere that you've never traveled or you've always thought of traveling, where would it be? Where would you like to go in the world? Um. Reading or writing poetry? Have I ever had any good experiences? Reading or writing poetry? Um, Japan, Europe. Specifically where in Europe? Um, I've traveled somewhere, imagination, a place where there's nothing but cookies. I love cookies. Hey, hey uh, uh, Trey Case, 47, okay. Sweden, I live in Sweden. <laughs> um, Osaka, Japan to a Lakers game. All right. London. Mm. Phuket. Berlin, Germany. I'm actually late to class. Um, South Korea. I want to go back to South Korea so I can get some clothes made. I'm a Berliner. Okay. I like I I lo I love Germany. I but my favorite place on earth is Spain. Rota, Spain is my favorite place. I I have to tell the truth. I love Rota with all my heart. What was my favorite subject in school? <clears throat> my favorite subject in school. What about Dubai? I like Dubai too. Um My favorite subject was social studies. I had a I had a teacher when I was in high school. The to me the best teacher I ever had. Her name was Miss Sizemore. And I I used to because I had because I had went I had went to a suburban school. I went to a suburban school in the beginning. And I left the suburban school and went to an inner city school. And when I got to the inner city school, everything that they were teaching us, they had taught us in the suburban school between the fourth and the eighth grade. So basically what they were doing was bringing, I was losing knowledge by going to the inner city high school. And I used to, I used to go to class maybe one day, two weeks, two days out the week. And there would be a test on Friday. I would take the test and just keep going. Miss Sizemore was the only teacher that I went to her class every day because I like Miss Sizemore. She was just, she was a really nice lady. And she really, really, really made me, she just was really nice. I really, really, you know, she, she used to tell me the fact that you know all the, the questions and answers that we, we're gonna give you means nothing if you don't come down here and continue to grow with your brain. And I used to go to her class every day just because of the person she was and how she made me feel. She just made me feel special. And, and that's why I went to, to her class. She was, she was a really special teacher. 
really, really liked her. Really good teacher. I have a friend from Schumburg, Schumburg or something like that. I'm sorry. I don't know how to spell it. Okay. The best teacher I had was in the first grade, Ms. Mr. Sanders. He helped me with it. Helped me a lot. Yeah. You know, the, you, you, you can have some teachers along the way, man, that really make you a better person on, on the way. There was, I had a homeroom teacher named Mr. Reed when I was in high school. And Mr. Reed was just funny. He was a little small man, but he was funny as hell. He was so funny that he was, he was my homeroom teacher and I had him for one class. And he taught something like, uh, what the hell did he teach? I don't even remember. Because most of the time, all we ever do in his class was laugh. He would make us laugh about everything. I don't, I don't remember, but I, yeah, I, I, I missed, I missed. There were some really good people that I went to school with, and I had some good things. Funny thing is. It was the first grade and how funny. Yeah. I mean, you remember good teachers. I remember, now I remember some teachers that missed, I had a in the fourth grade at K Avenue School. And she was the meanest teacher I ever had in my life. Man, she was mean. But I have to tell you the truth about Miss Kravitz. Miss Kravitz was mean as hell. Miss Kravitz was so mean. Miss Kravitz, when I first went to school, I didn't, man, I I was an inner city kid. I went to this, this uh, suburban school and I'm used to doing what I want when I go to class. I just do what I want. I didn't care. Miss Kravitz made me so scared. I did work for Miss Kravitz just so she wouldn't come and mess with me. So she wouldn't speak to me. And I did good work just so this woman would not bother me. I would turn in a paper and she would just dog me out. Just the best you think you could do. You know you can do it. And, and just throw the stuff back at me. Go back there and get, do, give me something better than this. And I was like, dude, what is wrong with this lady, man? She can't stand me. And I never forgot that, man. That lady did not like me, or I don't believe she liked me, or whatever. But I did good work for her, so I could graduate, so I could get. Because they told me it, <coughs> if you <coughs> if you don't graduate the fourth grade, you're gonna be in Miss Kravitz class again next year. I was like, oh hell no, we're not doing this. I got to get away from this lady. This lady crazy. And, and that propelled me to the fifth grade. <laughs> um, well, funny thing is that the first grade, okay. I dislike my math teacher. She legit says, I'm not here for you. I'm here for the money. That's, that's fine. If, she, if she's there for the money, then you make, then you make it for, be about you. Take the knowledge that she has, put it in your life, and move on. Next, she'll still be there next year for the money. At some point, the the money doesn't win. Um, my second grade teacher, Miss Ida, was the most horrible teacher ever. Hastings, Nebraska, middle of nowhere. Had a teacher who said that. If we didn't behave, she would hit us with a wet noodle. Now I'm older. I know what I don't know what to talk about. Hmm. You know, so you you you'll have you teachers and and there's certain things that are I'll, I'll tell you, um, I, my first grade teacher made me, made us rub her feet. Okay.
do you know how much I love you as if you were my father? I've been watching you for almost two years now and every single video or stream you do, I listen carefully to every word you say. Why, well, thank you. Ahmed. Um, I've been going back and quoting your wise words so that I can share the, your advice with those. Manual. <clears throat> the thing is, is just just treat people, just treat people the way you want to be treated. If you treat people, I'm I am not, man. I've lived a long time, and I, well, fifty seven years is not long, but I've I've learned that people we are we we are so much we are more alike than we've ever been before in history. And we just need, every now and then, we just need people to treat us the same way that we want to treat us. And when people hurt, you know, when, you know, I know, and you know, when somebody's hurt. If you say something to somebody and, they, and it hurts them, you know. And you know how they feel. Because somebody said something to you to hurt your feelings. You understand what I'm saying? We're all on that level. We're all the same. And, and that's all we have to figure out. We can't listen. I don't think, I don't think people need to listen to all the, the, like in this country right now, for me, we're being divided by, by bull junk. It's all, it's all malarkey. It's what it is. It's all malarkey. Just treat people kind with the same respect that you want. And I promise you, I promise you, your life will turn around and be great and better. That's all we got to do to each other. We don't have to listen to the news, CNN, Fox News, CNBC, MSN, none of them. We don't have to listen to none of them. We just have to do what we're supposed to do as people for each other and treat each other with the respect that we deserve. Things that go a long way, please. Thank you. I'm sorry. Excuse me. They go a long way. They do. If you bump into somebody, excuse me. I'm sorry. My fault. Take responsibility. Sometimes I say it's my fault when it ain't my fault. I don't really care. As long as it doesn't cause a conflict or this person to feel slighted in any way, they go on with their day. That's it, man. We just have to be kinder and nicer to each other, and we'll be fine. This country was, was, was founded on immigrants. It will continue to have immigrants. We're going to be fine. The world, we're all immigrants. We all go from one place to another. That's what we do. How hard is it? My personality type is, so I'm over observant and I can see someone, um, yeah. I am, um, anyway, okay, I, that's what I'm saying. Um, I feel way better if someone says thank you. If I did something nice for them, like bring a bottle of water or something. Yeah. Open a door for somebody. You know, when they have packages in their hand, open a door for them. It's a small gesture, but it makes their day. It makes their day easier. It makes you feel better. Mr. Billings, because he helped me with things I was going through, and he bought his Nintendo 64 to school sometime. Okay, why do you... I don't think Jake Paul is a psychopath. I don't know why people say that. He's a, he is, 
he's he's caught up. I think I think a lot of people, there's some really big YouTubers or big people who are caught up in all of this stuff. You know, I'm rich and people, if I say something, people ride on what I say. It doesn't matter. If there's if if somebody's giving you the wrong information or showing you the wrong way and you buy into it, then that's your fault. It's what it is. But he's got so many, like I, for me, there's a lot of young kids that watch our channel. Um, I'm going to try to pronounce his individual. Yeah. Greetings from Egypt. All right, man. Um, and I was amazed at I because I actually looked. I, I went to and I started looking. We have tons and tons of young kids who watch our channel. I mean, tons. And I don't want. I don't I don't want young kids to get the wrong impression or, or get the wrong advice or I want them to be good people. You know, and if I can save them from going forward to be good people, then I, I mean, I want them to be good people. I want everyone to be a good person. And I'm trying to be a good person. You see what I'm saying? Because there's times when all of us, all of us. We take a left. We're not we're not our best best selves. There's times I'm human. I make mistakes. And as long as you know that you're human and you're going to make mistakes, you'll be fine. Okay. Um, what do you think about religion? I believe I don't I don't talk about religion. I try not to talk about religion because I think. <clears throat> what you grow up with, with my opinion, what you grow up with is your religion, whatever religion it is, I don't care what it is. I don't really care what religion it is. I don't care whether it's Protestant, Catholic, uh, um, Buddhism, uh, all the religions. I don't care what they are. What has to happen is you have to be a good person. That's all that has to happen. You have to treat people with the same respect that you want to be treated with. If you can do that, it doesn't matter what religion you are. That's the truth. That's what I think, anyway. Um, would you react to Shane Dawson's or Jake Paul's documentary edited to be shorter or an edited video? I'll have to look. I, I don't, I don't, I, honestly, got truth, man. I. I, I try to stay away from Logan Paul, the Paul brothers. I try not to. I try not to deal with them guys. I just do. It's just. It's just. Uh, no. Uh, I work in a university in the administration office, and someone, for some reason, even though I live in a whole different country and community, but your advice really come. Yeah, thanks. Um, hi from Scotland. Can I? Can you shout out my? Bernard Rosenberg. He he has a YouTube channel, and I'm just getting started. Okay. Jake Paul is like Justin Bieber. Every 12 year old wants to be him. Yeah. Can I get a shout out? I'm new to YouTube stuff. The real Casey Nacy. Um, I have to go, Dad. I learned some good lessons. Lewis, thank you for the one pound. Thank you for the dono. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys. You can don't you can donate. There's a donate button at the bottom. Somebody was telling me about that. I was like, okay. Have ever heard of Jack Edwards? What state and city are you guys from? You don't want to ask. We're from South Texas. Oh, we're not going to do the girl thing today because it's almost time for me to leave.
Chavez. I agree, I'm from Houston. We're gonna do some videos when he gets here today. So I'm, I was supposed to have been done already. So I gotta go, I'm gonna go in there, get me another cup of coffee, wash the dishes and then um, I may, I'm gonna, maybe I'll wash the dishes, I don't know. I put them in the dishwasher, I don't know. I just put them in the dishwasher today. That's what I do, I just put them in the dishwasher. So what is my favorite place to eat? Oh man, I have a bunch of them. I, you can look at my big ass and tell I like to eat, but uh, <laughs> um, have you ever heard of Jack Edwards? I don't know. There must be something that you're trying to do for me. I don't know. Um, I I like I like restaurants where I can sit down. Like I'm, I'm right now. I want to try that Brazilian restaurant where they just bring you tons of meat. That is what I want to try next. I love Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm, I'm gonna try that. Uh, they have, from what I understand, they have one in San Antonio, where it's the meat just keeps coming and coming and coming and coming. And I'm probably gonna go there and try that uh, when I go to Pack South. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to pack South in January. Anybody know anybody from Texas want to have ever been to pack South? I could do that. I could do that. Over here in Scotland, you can go to a restaurant, get a pizza fry. Mm -hmm. Deep fry. That sounds Sounds different. Did you know the Buffalo Wild Wings and Applebee use the same chicken? I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. All right, guys. I got to go. It's, uh, you know what? Three minutes. Three more minutes. Well, two minutes and a half. Um, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for stopping by. If you haven't given me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs up. Um, we'll try to do this tomorrow again. Y'all up for that? Who's my favorite rapper? Heavy D. Heavy D is my favorite rapper. So, yep. Is it true that you used to be a DJ? Yeah, when I was uh, 18, I, I DJed. I DJed in Korea. I DJed at Fort Hood. Yeah, I, I used to do that. I DJed with a guy named Sweet Champagne and the Music Monster. And my name was <laughs> Funk Master. That was my DJ name, the Funk Master. Yeah. It was pretty good. Pretty good. Had a good time. Had a real good time. <laughs> yeah. So. Yep. Loved it, man. Had fun, man. Yeah, funk master. Yep, that was me. Oh yeah. Jordan Lucas. Okay. I had some good coffee. Thank you, Manuel. So each and every one of you, what I want to tell you guys is have a great day. Be safe. Enjoy your holiday. Spend some time with someone you love. Be kind to someone. And I'm a, all right, Dad, from England. All right. Um, You guys have a wonderful day. I really appreciate you guys being here. Thank you, and I got to go. So I'll holler at you guys later. Thank you again. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.